The Blooming Classroom came together thanks to Kitty Shiatani, who is the landowner of the retired flower farm that the Blooming Classroom was built on. Well, I volunteered up there hmm. at Life Lab, and I really liked what they were doing. And I had all this this land and flowers, and thought it'd be great to have kids come right here. There's so much vitality here in the Blooming Classroom, you know, it's, that's really what garden-based education, what outdoor education in general is about. My favorite thing about the garden is that I get to see my favorite animal, that is butterflies and ladybugs. Mm, I love when there are like snows in here. gives them opportunity to connect and learn about science in a real tangible way. What I like about the garden is the people that are in here. Something that I like from the garden was meeting new people. My favorite thing about the garden classroom is seeing all the animals and insects. So this is one of three parts of what we are calling our Pajaro Valley Initiative and that the community and the school district and teachers have all responded incredibly positively to when we came offering that, saying we'd love to do this. We have these resources um, that we've built over 35 years of experience. We've been working on that vision with partners throughout the area and everybody has been excited about it. In addition to the after-school field trip programs that we've been running, um, we're looking to sustain school gardens in the Pajaro Valley School District. And the way we're going to be doing that is bringing our Life Lab Science curriculum, connecting that with next generation science standards, and training teachers so that they can use school gardens in a more effective way. I went inside a flower and then I, I caught it and then I went sliding it down and then I got, I got it. Where you go? I just found a bubble right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a bumblebee? Well, for me, this land has brought me so much. And it's, you know, this incredible resource. So to see it, you know, going on and still giving to the community is meaningful to me. Over the long haul, we're going to look at models across the nation and take their successes of sustainable school garden programming and bring them to Pajaro Valley. So through partnerships with the district and government agencies, we're looking for mechanisms to sustain financially garden-based programming throughout the district. One of my favorite little stories that I have from our very, very, very first program that we ever ran in the Blooming Classroom with H.A. Hyde students. It was a group of second through fifth graders. They knew, I told them, that they were the very first group of students who were ever in the Blooming Classroom. And so by the time they were, they were leaving on their very last day that they were visiting the Blooming Classroom, they were just so happy because they were saying, not only did we get to be here, their words, we got to make history by coming here. 
for free. You're a really good learner.